You get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. Profiling the attacker, let's do just a quick e exercise so that let's say that we gather all this information and see what we got at the end. So we put attribution, in this case we said that it is an APT with the name X5, and let's see what we got from this group. Okay, so it's a group located in China based on the IP and hosting details that we got. Uh, it uses a spare phishing email to compromise the victims. Uh, is using always old exploits, it's not zero days, they always come up with an exploit in order to send it via a spare phishing email in order to start compromising victims. They always target South Korea knocker plans, specific South Korea knocker plans based on uh, spare phishing emails with all exploits coming from China, specific. Heavy use of hack tools like pwdump to dump hashes. Drops a rootkit to hide its presence in the system. That rootkit must have an SSS deep hash and an imp hash, which can also help us to uh, know exactly when a new variant comes and it is totally tied to that specific threat actor. Sniffs the network to steal credentials and jump into new hosts another technique to gather information. It steals credentials via HTTP POST request to C2. That communication with the C2 is via HTTP POST request to exfiltrate information. And the data is always base 64 encoded. So as you can see, we profile these specific threat actors and with those different uh, techniques, TTPs identified, plus the, the um, features the static features and the behavior that we just gathered before in our cluster is definitely going to give us a high rate of a specific detection of a group. It doesn't matter if it is new or well known, but it will definitely give us a specific group with those characteristics. Okay, so as a summary, uh, attribution is probably the most difficult task for a threat intelligence analyst but it is the most exciting one and uh, not always is possible to make the attribution but we can always suggest and, uh, and by doing the tracking which is the next course we can always confirm if this specific group is what we thought or probably is a, a, a already known one. Okay, Fully relies in all the information gathering made about that unknown malicious cluster. That cluster that we classify based on features and behaviors with those TTPs added, added to that is what we need in order to make the attribution. Okay, see you in the next course. But before that, features, uh, behavior, and now TTPs, as I mentioned before, made the attribution more accurate with the combination of these three things, features, statics, uh, features, behavior, which is dynamic as we saw, and the TTPs is definitely a strong indicator that will help us to identify a specific threat group. Thank you.